let's get started uh, let me give you overview of last class like uh, last class we have discussed like uh, how your project should looks like how your project should looks like we have uh, divided the entire project into three part one is ui part another one is api part we call it server and third one is your uh, database part and in our project we are going to use uh, ui as a angular and the api as a node.js and database as a mongodb this is our technology stacks this stacks call as bean stack developer okay let's go and discuss about the next one because last last class also uh, like discuss about the functional requirement and non-functional requirement <coughs> and and non-functional requirement we have a list of uh, like uh, courses are there what is performance logging security caching debugging you know just case lot of things are there okay let me go uh, let me go and discuss about the next part of project okay as we discussed yesterday like uh, our first chapter is project okay project means okay you will learn angular anyhow i'll start from angular also because angular without knowing angular you cannot develop the project but things will be our main focus always be project for that we will go and discuss what project we are going to develop what are the different different modules inside the inside that project what is the how we are going to design a mock-up and uh, who are the teams are available for the project who are the developer who are the qa and how we are going to planning the agile method is sprint planning user storage task management lot of things we are going to discuss after that also we are going to work with the github in github um, i am going to give you the git access <coughs> whatever code we are going to write day by day i'll push that code into git and uh, i'll add that our serum technology github project repository and you are going to access that project and you will commit the, you can see the changes you can commit the code you can raise the pr we'll do the lot of thing here okay now let's go and start from the project okay before that, I just want to know, I think Joyendra and uh, Srikanth, you both are working. You have any knowledge on Git and GitHub, which because you are working, maybe you are working. Uh, you have any knowledge on this, this tool, Git and Bracking Strategy or any kind of uh, project management tool? Yeah, I know something, some uh, basic knowledge on GitHub. Uh, you are using Bitbucket here. Uh, okay, Bitbucket, yeah, that's okay, yeah. Both are equal, yeah. yeah both are equal. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. The same way because um, Bitbucket or like uh, because Bitbucket is a different product, uh, like different vendor and uh, we can also use uh, Azure DevOps for the Git or also we can use the GitHub. The, these are the things we have to basic use for a project development. Okay. Let's go start from one by one tool. Okay. Uh, we discussed yesterday, lot of tool we, we have to discuss. Let me go and discuss one by one tool. Always remember, before start a project, before start a project, don't go direct into the code. Code is the, coding is the last part of our application. If you develop any project, any project means any kind of application, don't think about coding first. Why? Because if you think about code, then you are not going to complete the project. Coding is the last part of the project. The first part of project is design. You have to first design a project. But the things will be before design a project. Just a second. <clears throat> what are the different, different stages for a project? You have to first understand how the project go from st starting to like the delivery. Okay. Then what will do? First it will go to start the project. Then execute the project. Basic. I am giving a basic idea then it will be the delivery the project and this will be stop there is no stop these are the things start delivery and maintenance okay. these are the basic step for a project if you develop any project that is a start then you have to execute the project then you have to deliver the project after after delivery you have to do the maintenance of the project these are the four stage for any project to develop these are the stage okay but what is the start 
let me divide start into multiple part okay start means don't think it's a coding start means it's a come up planning it's a planning stage planning stage means what always remember when you start a project in that case <clears throat> in that case what will happen you know it you, you have some certain idea screen right suppose you want to develop an e-commerce application you know that in my e-commerce application i have to design the website in, in such a way it, it, it should it should contain a footer it should contain a header just example flipkart in flipkart you can see that if you open any application Okay. If you open any this Flipkart site, there is a header, there is a menu, there is a content, there is also if you go to down, there is a footer. These are the basic structure for a project. If you develop any application, web application, there is a structure, there is a header, header section, there is a menu section, there is a content section, there is a footer section. Okay. This is the basic structure you understand if a project, if an application you're developing, any application you're developing, this application divided into basic three part. Okay, what is the three part? Let me draw that one. The first part will be your header, you can call it menu. Okay, just a second. First part you call as your header or your menu. Okay, let me write it down. It's a header. Or you can call as menu. What header contain? Header contain a logo. Okay. What header contain? Just let me go. Planning. <coughs> the planning. First will be layout. Layout. What is the layout? Now how my uh, how my application should looks like. But before that, planning is the concept. How what is your requirement for developing a project? Example, you are developing one e-commerce application. You will go one by one because project is a large, large stuff. We have to know each and everything. The planning stage, we have to first know the requirement. I have to know the requirement. We will go layer to letter. Let me first go to requirements. You know, without requirement, you cannot know what you want to develop. As a developer, maybe you know what is the e-commerce application. What is the e-commerce application? Okay. But you don't know you don't know what is the requirement okay e-commerce always not suppose you are developing one jewelry site you are developing some different kind of site you are developing some suppose you are developing an application where they are to customize that suppose you know that there are different different kind of site where you can customize your t-shirt you can customize your pen you can customize your mug there is n number of site available who the, both are the e-commerce category but inside that they have different different kind of functionality right but in here, suppose if you go to Flipkart site, that is not that much customized because if you go to any of the product, you have to only choose the variant. Then just click it here. If you're going to open, you have to, it, it will give a fixed price. Then you have to add to cart, done. But if you go to some kind of site like Paint Vistra, like any other kind of site where suppose you want to customize your T-shirt, you want to customize your, um, uh, suppose uh, your mug, if you go to suppose Mintra site, you can customize. Suppose you have to choose your length. Suppose what is the size you you want? Suppose large, medium, all kind of customization is there. Based on the site, based on the requirement of one site to another site, the requirement is going to change. But yesterday we explained. Yesterday class we have explained the basic requirement for a e-commerce is. There is a display product, filter the product, add to cart, login. These are the basic functionality. But apart from that, apart from this, what will happen if if the client, if the customer who is own this project, if they want any specific requirement for the project, that is the color requirements. Requirement means always what you want to do. Requirements actual meaning is what you want to deliver to the client or user <clears throat> always remember this requirement is always come from this always come from come from business business means the person who own this product own this product means the person who is the client or anyone who giving you a product who giving you a project that is a business person okay that is the requirement stage. 
this requirement stage is the basic role actually this requirement stage is not for you this is actually for the business analyst i will explain the thing this is a ba or business analyst okay. this is for business analyst what is business analyst to this same as you are a developer there is a different team there is a different persons group of persons available who actually going to interact with the business get the requirement first is the requirement they will get the requirement because you nowadays will we'll, we'll, we'll discuss an agile methodology what are the different different methodology to develop a project but first one is the requirement okay just to imagine this is an e-commerce site okay in this e-commerce site you have n number of features available and now features mean, means become a seller add to cart a lot of filtering review uh, and insurance you can see that a lot of things available per project and there is a rating system suggestion similar product lot of things are available here right these all are the different different modules but just imagine if someone comes to you and that person that client is going to tell you okay i need to develop one e-commerce application now you will say what is the requirement just imagine for a good e-commerce application there is a maybe hundreds of module available okay hundreds of module available you don't know what model available because if you compare initial day of flipkart to current day of flipkart site or amazon to current day of amazon site you can see they have developed n number of features and same example in the facebook initial days when it started the day of orkut when there is orkut same time facebook was developed whatever features they have that time you can see now there is a hundred times more features available okay but no one think no one don't know what will come in future okay no one know what will come to the future for this product all the things will come at a execution time only okay means as a person as a developer you will not get whole picture of a project whole picture of a application always remember it's a tip for you don't think you will know each and everything of a project it's your responsibility whatever task whatever module is going to assign you that thing you have to do in such a proper way in future if any changes come to that project okay any changes come to that project if anything wants to change it's not going to change your entire project that's the reason there is a concept called solid principle i will explain solid principle later but just just you have to know that the solid principle is the principle which is actually used to develop a project to develop a application okay the solid principle i will discuss later but i am not going because that is that will take one other that that will take one class because i am going to expect each and every concept of solid principle forget about that just you have to know that as a developer okay what you know you will not get whole requirement at a time okay because because no one know what is the project future just imagine you develop one product you develop one e-commerce site and no one using just imagine no one using what is the meaning of developing become a seller just imagine and what is the use of developing this kind of features no, not i'm saying i'm just talking about just one module okay what is the use of using this insurance if no one is using your project no one is using your application that's the reason initial stage when initial stage when you start a project that time no need to think what will be the end of the project trust me there is no end of a project project always be a ongoing process because if user are using your product product or using your project product means the, the application using your product in their use day by day the requirement would going to be changed for that reason to starting a project you have to know okay i want to develop an e-commerce application in your mind you have known that i want to develop this application but the features the modules 
the flow all the things you no need to know from starting point okay as a developer when we are working also our organization we know that we don't also know the project requirement we only know what we want to develop for this specific time frame okay that type of development we call as agile development agile development agile development means what if you from software suppose you are from mc or btech background in a software engineering you learn that there are different different type of models to develop a software there is a concept called water water flow model if you know water flow model what happened to water flow model in water flow model everything you have to know from start suppose you want to develop one you have to develop one application from e-commerce just example we are talking about e-commerce application that time the business is going to give you entire module entire structure of your application okay means before going to into your development the business has all the idea means what you to develop what is the menu what is the things so the problem in this model the water flow model is because you don't know what is my future goal you don't know what will happen to my future to this product then but you have to gather all the requirement for that reason what happened the development will be longer because people need to be develop each and every modules okay just imagine for e-commerce application as i told earlier i need this basic structure okay but if i go going to give you lot of features lot of features, thousands of features in the application now you will be confused right which feature you want to do all these things that's the reason there is a concept called called this agile development or agile methodology in agile methodology what will happen you no need to know all the requirement from start whatever module whatever features okay the features the whole project is going to divide into different 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 features okay features means always remember features means it's a one of the functionality you can see that you're displaying this um, this um, uh, what call uh, this warranty also here the insurance also here is one of the feature and displaying this rating is one of the feature and displaying this interested you may be interested in one of the features everything you can see a project is one of the features that features you no need to know from scratch when your project is a little bit stable when a project is a little bit started then after a business will come and say okay okay these are the things i want to develop for this next sprint okay what is sprint i'm going to discuss just imagine the business you will come take a requirement developer don't know about the whole requirement developer only know what they want to develop okay as a developer your primary focus always what you want to develop for this time frame this time frame this time frame we call as sprint okay call as sprint sprint means this is the development time frame development time frame okay what is development time frame okay because you know that as a developer you are going to build monthly whether you are indian people we are indian developer and we are going to uh, build monthly because we are getting the monthly salary and because if you are del delivering something then you are getting salary means you are delivering something now the company is going to set the time frame for your application time frame for your application means means for this month i want to develop this module or i want to develop these features and i want to release this feature to the business or the production okay that is different different stuff we are going to discuss all these things later but just imagine in the agile development means what will happen you want to okay divide whole project into multiple features okay actually this is not actual the agile methodology definition but the things will be in agile methodology or agile development what will happen you have to divide your entire application into multiple features and that feature you want to assign to a specific developer or specific person then that person is going to develop the application but these features okay I, i'll go to sprint later these features what are the features 
features means suppose you want to develop suppose rating just example features means i want to develop the rating system rating is one of the features the same way i want to develop, uh, develop the insurance module or suppose products you like you you may be interested okay these all are the features okay these are the features these features okay these are the features actually come as a requirement always remember these features which come as a requirement okay this feature will comes to this will comes to okay actually you are the feature is one kind of functionality the functionality will come from a requirement but as a user as a sorry as a developer you no need to know anything from this requirement okay no need to know means you, you, you actually it's your responsibility you have to know the requirement but don't no need to know whole requirement whatever is going to assign to you that is going to be you have to develop first is the features part in the features part what will happen the business analyst what is the user business analyst the business analyst responsibility is that person he or she you will go to the business huge the actual the business owner business owner means the person who own this product the business analyst will get the requirement from the business owner okay let me write it down the business analyst will get the requirement from the business owner or called bo you have to understand you have to remember all this short form because this is the required for us because business analyst will get the requirements from the business owner now they have to divide it what because they will they will say i want to develop a product retail space now inside that the business analyst what will what will do based on the priority based on the priority business analyst what will do business analyst based on the based on the priority business analyst will divide the requirements into multiple features okay divide the based on the priority okay business analyst will divide the requirements to multiple feature okay then what will happen this is entire section is not for you this entire section is not for you but as a developer you have to know that how the process will start from where that's the reason in the requirements phase this is the requirement phase will start from the business analyst and business user because these are the top management who is actually know what they what is their vision based on their vision they have to design the project they have to design the application then the ba people the business analyst people the responsibility will they will get the requirement and based on the requirement and the based on the priority of the requirement they will divide the entire requirement into different different features okay once the features ready features means always remember features means the functionality the module you can say a module or a functionality okay whatever you can say it's up to you but in a technical term in a project term we call as a feature features or we can call as a one of the requirement okay whatever then now the business analyst work is done means the business the requirement stage is done okay this is the requirement stage okay first requirement stage then business analyst talk to the business owner then based on their priority and all the deliverables they are going to set the priority of the task priority of the requirement and they are going to divide into this requirement to multiple features okay now once the features once the features is going to be started now there is a call okay because because business analyst is get get the requirement from the uh, get the requirement from the business user after that after the business analyst create the multiple features they will set up a they will set up a call or we can call as a meeting this meeting we call as a sprint planning i'll explain everything 
then business analyst what will do business analyst set up a call or meeting with developers lead qa and if any other sons in the team okay i will explain what are the other persons in team okay then what will they what they'll do the business because today's we are going to explain how the project executed but what are the team roles respectively i am going to explain later but you have to understand the next step one is requirement is done then actually happen the feature okay what is the feature planning then business analyst will set up a call with the developers lead qa and other persons other persons in the team this is called a sprint planning but you can learn the call this what is this sprint planning okay we will explain the what is the concept of sprint planning now first stage requirement done second stage is the planning stage the planning stage what will happen what will happen after business to get the requirement from the business owner then they will set up a call with the different different team member this is a one call in that call they are going to set up a sprint planning in the sprint planning let me explain what will they are going to do but before that before the sprint planning this is a process okay this is all the process but you have to know what is this concept called sprint why this sprint is required and what is the what is the benefit of using the sprint okay let me go and explain the term called sprint what is sprint as i told okay I, I, this part i will go later let me first explain the sprint part because this is the one flow and sprint is one of the term let me go and explain about the sprint okay sprint means a development time frame okay development time frame or execution time frame okay. as i told start is start is this one the start then actually start the execution part okay this is this is the second one is the execution first one is the start part okay we all are related everything is related but i am i need to explain about this sprint planning you have to know for as of now sprint means it's a time frame for development suppose in your organization suppose in your organization they will decide it's, this is not for project based this is the maybe project based but based on your organization rules and responsibility your organization is going to say that for delivering a task for delivering a so not task to delivering a features or anything the developer must have to work a time frame okay you will ask okay anyhow you work for one month right then why the time frame required okay the things will be based on the project requirement the based on the project team based on the project team size based on the requirement lot of thing varies based on that they are going to plan the time frame for a de delivery of features that we called a sprint sprint means a time frame where the the your company is going to say that in this time frame we are going to deliver this many tasks or you have to deliver this many kind of uh, story points now lot of things coming story point lot of thing but sprint is a time frame where you want to develop the application usually usually in organization there is a one week sprint there is also two week sprint there is also four week sprint okay the four week sprint means as a basically in the basically this two weeks is the recommended okay this two weeks is a recommended two weeks means say 15 days okay let me explain what is 15 days two weeks it's a 15 days right in 15 days you have four holidays right four holidays means four weekends sorry four weekends four weekends like then what will happen just example i'll show you the calendar if you suppose just imagine you're supposed to print, print start from monday okay then you can see that 
if monday start from if, if suppose our in our organization our sprint start from the uh, this day first day I mean, yesterday our sprint already started then you can see that today and tomorrow is our uh, today is our last working day for the sprint then no, for the first working day for string this one ninth and tenth of the holiday i will work for whole week then this 16 and 17 will be the holiday now i am going to deliver the task in 21 to start from 17 and end on 21 these are the time frame because in our organization we are following in our project we are following two week sprint in two week sprint we call we are divided into we, we, we remove the four days now almost two weeks means actually 14 days sorry 14 days almost 14 days and we remove four weekends and that is all about 10 days I mean 10 days actually your working days 10 days or your working days clear means if your sprint planning is two weeks okay if your sprint planning is two weeks basically organization either they go for two weeks or they'll go for four weeks there is no three weeks concept but it will vary based on your project organization it will vary but mostly there is a two weeks and there is a four weeks but some of the company also there is a one week one week um, uh, that called um, uh, sprint planning just imagine if there is a one week sprint planning how much pressure will be there because you will not get enough time to because one week means it will start from two monday and end will friday just imagine that is due to that you cannot deliver a good product in one week sprint because you will not get enough time to deliver a product that's the reason no one prefer the one week sprint but maybe in, i heard from my friends some of the company they are they are also doing the one week development but i i'm not recommended no one going to use the one week if one week will be there the problem will be you will be more stressed to work because you have to deliver the features in one week only but most of the company they are following the two weeks sprint two weeks sprint means you have to work for de to to deliver a features to deliver anything to the client to the business you have to use for two weeks but if you see that the two weeks we have divided into multiple parts two weeks means 14 days that is on four weekends you have only 10 days working day so 10 10 working days 10 working days you have okay means you have to only work 10 days to deliver the product now in this sprint in the sprint what will happen in this sprint what will happen 10 working days 10 days means in just imagine 10 days means we are going to work 8 hour for a day right 8 hour for a day but in agile development as I told in agile development you cannot work 8 hour for a day don't think don't work means you 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 will you will not going to uh, attend 8 hour the what will happen 8.8 hour is divided into productive hour what is productive hour you have to understand 10 days 8 hours then what will do there is a concept called productive hours what is productive hours whole day you are not going to write the code right whole day you are not going to write it. that is a call there is a meeting there is your lot of thing will be there okay in a project there is a lot of thing will be there apart from that apart from your this meeting and this um, all this lot of thing whatever hour is left that is called your productive hour in our company our productive hour is 6.5 hours per day means every day i have to work 6.5 hour dedicatedly to the development dedicatedly means no meeting no planning nothing i have to work 6.5 hours for a day to develop the product if you compare this one to 10 days you will get 65 hours means 6.5 hours into 10 days you have to 65 hours okay 65 hours for sprint now you have to plan you have 65 hours means in a two weeks means two weeks means include the weekends just imagine include the weekends for our weekends only two weeks you have to work 65 hours 65 hours means don't think what about this uh, uh, then 2.5 hours you will work but 
they are not going to give this 2.5 power for dedicated to development because you have a meeting you have some client call you have a lot of things will happen in your company right you are not going to fully fully focused into 8 hour for development you have to 6.5 hours for, in our organization in some company it will be different 6.5 hours for dedicated development and rest 1.5 hour for meetings lot of thing lot of thing whatever you want to do lot of things there okay for that reason you have 65 hours capacity this 65 hours we call as capacity you have to learn this 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 65 hours is your capacity capacity now got it 65 hours is your capacity for the project for the sprint now in 65 hours also there is another concept suppose you have you have leave or any public holiday I know it will let I'm explaining each and everything depth because as a developer you have to know all these things because if you go to join an organization after this course if they say all these things you no need to hesitate okay what is this leave what is this 65 hours it may this this productive hour may be very but they will they will say that this is a productive hour this is your sprint date okay they will say uh, your sprint date will be four then just imagine four 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 means seven to four then you have to remove the weekends whatever working days and all of the things are there based on that you have to plan it's up to you but you have to know about all this concept okay now you have leaves and if any 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 or any public holidays all is going to be deducted from your working hour just imagine suppose uh, as a person you have one leave and and one suppose public holiday suppose we have a good friday is coming good friday on uh this uh, 15 is a good friday so we have a holiday now in the suppose you are taking leave on this um 14th just example uh, you are taking a leave on 14th you have two days holiday one is going for the public holiday one is going for your own holiday one leave then now you have you have removed 6.5 6.5 and how many 12 and 13 you have removed the 13 hours means 13 hours we will remove from your sprint capacity it now if you remove this one spill capacity your uh, actual capacity will be your actual capacity actual capacity for sprint is 65 minus 13 what is 13 13 is your holiday holidays right holiday you leave anything then it will be 50 Actually, 52 hours you have to work hours for sprint. Now, your task, your task means you have to work 52 hours for this sprint. Then, based on your capacity, based on your availability, based on your hours, how many hours you're going to spend, like spend in this class, spending sorry, spend in this sprint then you have to plan according to that now let's come to our top part got it how i divide a sprint to different different structure sprint is a time frame the time frame you have to based on your organization based on your um, like a lot of thing you have to discuss about this just a second guys based, based on your requirement based on your company you have to divide the things into multiple parts then uh, uh, then you have to productive hours will there there then, in, then you have to divide your leaves and public holiday then uh, finally you'll get your final you'll get your actual hours i'll show you all these things don't worry for next week i'm going to when you're going to start the actual class that time i'll i'll say you how we are going to de decide divide the sprint how you can going to divide the sprint planning how we can do, uh, divide the capacity all the things we are going to discuss in the sprint execution okay when we're going to use the azure devops tool the project management tool that time only we are going to discuss all these things okay let's go you got it just imagine how much time you are spending for a, a defined sprint right sprint means this is a time frame okay 
now suppose our sprint is going to already started from yesterday or going to start from next week for that we are starting a feature planning or called a sprint planning okay feature planning or call as a sprint planning okay now this after the business analyst set up a call this call is going for a calendar all you know how whatever mail system you are using you will get a set up a call now business analyst will come and they will going to explain what they will going to explain they are going to explain the features means they will say business wants to deliver this feature in this coming they will they, they will give a end date end date is not going to for your project and your feature your sprint end date they will say that okay for this sprint i want to develop this one but this module is going to de deliver in next sprint because there is a lot of testing lot of thing will come that will going to explain later but no one going to deliver the sprint uh, features today and not going to deliver the end of the sprint all are take the time to deliver a features okay now in this sprint planning what they will do they will comes to a features they will say these features i want to develop okay now as i told features another term is module or a functionality as you know to develop a single thing also there is a multiple different different type of subtask just example if you open this one if i go to uh, suppose you you might be interested okay you might be interested this is one of the features just example this is one of the features or similar product whatever just we will go to similar similar product you can see that here if you go to in depth of these things you will the requirement is based on the product i want to display the similar product okay this is a requirement but in this requirement you can see that there is a different different kind of structure what is structure sorry user can able to see the rating just just go to in depth of the requirement i can able to see the product the product also i want to display the product rating okay in discount is going to apply that is going to display and after that i want to display the wish list icon here these are the different different features my these are different different sub features my primary features is similar product okay my primary features is similar business is saying that okay i need to develop a similar product features this section now business analysts to what will do they will go and divide this product into multiple parts that features okay the features will divide into multiple parts okay that part we call as user stories guys as a developer you have to know that the concept called user stories user story means what to deliver a features to deliver a features what will happen there is a n number of different different task not task there is a n number of different different sub features that example for this there is a back end work also there right for that just like if you are going to add here so for example example was feature product hmm. the the things will the the delivery will be feature, so similar product similar products is a features okay they written similar product is a feature they written now what they will do they will divide this similar product into multiple different different user stories what is user stories user stories mean different different deliverables deliverables means what okay in this print i want to only, sorry in this print i want to only display all the product with name and price no need to di display the rating rating will come in next stories okay because once because maybe one feature will be the more large number of features now they will divide that features into multiple parts that parts we called as a user stories this user stories is a chunk of deliverable chunk of delivery items okay. you are not going to you are not going to deliver the entire application entire features at a time what you will do the business analyst will go to the application 
first they will say okay in this similar product i want to display the product image and the product name and price no need to display anything that is one user story second user story they will say okay after the first is done they will say okay i want to display the rating also that is another user story again they will show if uh, i want to display the heart icon mean wish list icon for this and another requirement will be which is the facebook means this is the flipkart assortment there is some kind of features they want to add they want to add you can see that one is display the item another one is display the image name and the price another one is display the rating another one is display the wish list just imagine if you go to this similar product we can divide this we can divide this specific feature similar product feature to multiple part what is multiple part display all products products with with sorry with name and price a products with name and price the next feature what is it this is one user story next feature will be next feature will be display the product display the rating sorry display the rating okay next one will be the wish list just imagine i am just dividing it may be features or not feature i am just dividing same way the business analyst is going to divide the entire product into multiple parts okay this is the one is display all product and with name and price then go to display the display rating wish list these are the things we call as a user stories this is one user story this is another user story this is another user story for that also what will happen there is a api changes are also there api there is also database a lot of thing will be there okay we'll, we are not going to focus on a lot of things but just imagine these all are the different different kind of features okay these, these are the different kind of sub features now these sub features are called user stories okay these features are called the user stories now this user story this user story is going to assign user story will assign to the okay. now your work start they will say that okay display this all product to its names if suppose this is going to assign to joindra and so display rating suppose it is going to assign to gopal and wish list suppose is going to display the second i think it's going to assign the second okay let's imagine these are the different different features i'm assigning joindra to one features one user story display rating to gopal wish list to second but database to myself or mice mice is going to work on the api and part Ranjan is going to work on the API. Moise is going to work on API and uh, part, uh, Ranjan is going to work on the uh, database. Imagine how they are divided. They are divided. This uh, display product name assigned to one developer. This one to one developer. This is the one developer. This is one one developer. Now, what will happen? You just is going to assign to the developer based on your requirement because that is also QA. QA means the quality assurance, the, the QE engineer. They are also going to use this one. Okay. Lot thing. Now, after you say, okay, you just assign to developer, the developer will say, what is the complexity of this user story? Okay. Suppose Joindra will say, okay, for this uh, display the, all the product and name, it will be a little bit um, complex. Based on the complexity of the story, then it will give the story point okay. you will give the story point the story point means you will set the priority of your story okay priority of story means the story point start as a fibonacci series 1 3 5 8 30 okay now these these are the different different kind of 1 2 sorry 1 2 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. These are the different, different story points. Okay. 
guys these are the agile these are the project management uh, they are following this structure but based on organization they are going to divide these points into multiple hours also just example you are saying that okay only display the rating suppose gopal is assigned to display the rating api will give the data only he need to bind the data to the ui this example after i develop the api that api is going to give the my give me the two information about the rating what is the rating what is the total rating i'll simply go and bind it here right that's the reason i gopal will say okay i will take this one as a gopal will say this one as a one story point means if you say one story point means mean one story point or two story point means what will happen gopal is saying okay this task is little bit easy one but same cases srikant and joint are saying okay joint is saying okay due to i am going to display all the data in the first stage this will take time for that reason i will go for eight story point eight story point means it's a it will be large task same way the same way what will happen suppose uh, sikkam is saying okay for me to take a little bit more time to display the rating and display the wish list click it will check the login lot of thing going to happen for that reason i require the five story point for example i'm just giving gopal is saying for me is required two story point because i'm just displaying the rating i am not there is no functional for the rating i'm only go and display the rating you can see that based on your based on your user story as a developer your primary focus you will say that what is my story point one will the one will the less work two will be little bit uh, hard work compared to one three will be that one if you go to increase one by one they will get little bit harder work it will get it will be more difficult task that's the reason as a developer you have to fast um, see this planning if you skip this planning then you don't know what story point we are going to give just example joindra is not focusing on this sprint planning or suppose you all of you are not focusing on the sprint planning now what will happen then uh, once the business analyst create this feature they will say okay i am to deliver this one if you don't attend this call if you don't the part of this sprint planning then instead of eight you will say okay only only display the data okay you will make it three but when you actually you going to work this project you know oh, oh, there is a lot of thing to work on this feature then again you will say okay this is a hard task because once the sprint is started no one going to change the story points always remember story points is going to start from the sprint planning date or sprint demo date in that case what will happen once you set the sprint planning then they will know that whole team capacity i will explain all these thing later must imagine based on your story point they are going to calculate the sprint, they are going to calculate the team strength team strength means what suppose joiner is working eight story point uh, and gopal is working two story point and mohesh uh, suppose um, this sikant is working five story point what is 8 to 10 15 story point suppose in a company there is a <coughs> suppose 10 developer and they have to imagine how one developer at least work 65 65 hours right based on that they are going to assign the story point in our organization they are planning a user max to max work 8 to 10 story point 8 to 10 story point there is no 8 to means one 8 story point another one is two story point okay means max to max work 8 to 10 story point that is our capacity our comp our company set that the same role same way in your company also based on your based on the company policy they are going to decide one person is going to work for 8 to 10 story point or 5 story point okay based on your requirement let's imagine suppose joindra is work for 8 to 1 that fine but sikant is 5 story point suppose three story point left but for gopal it's almost six story point left now what will happen they are going to assign another task another story point to the gopal and sikant because they are less occupation and joint has fully occupied because joint is going to work eight story point and gopal is going to work for two story point he need six story point again same as sikant sikant also need again three story point for that reason they will create another user stories and maybe another features and anything will be there they are going to assign the exact 8 to 10, 10 story point based on your capacity okay if you are leave or something they are going to exclude but they are going to give you 
the exact things okay got it this story point is going to given by the developers okay it will given by given by the developers your task you have to prioritize your task uh, what is the task to develop to, to deliver these features features means of features user stories what is my story point what is my difficulty level okay after we deliver this after we get the story point then actually developer assign okay they are saying join the assign this product uh, gopal is working this one this one this one moish is working api ranjan is working database lot of lot of people are working different different models now suppose 528 assigned to you suppose all are things people just imagine and all people have a story point okay now what will happen you need a developer need to add task let me do the task management right after task management task management what you will work in this user in assigned user stories okay user story assigned to you user story means the sub module assigned to you then you say that okay two uh, suppose for uh, uh, joiner is one but this um, sikant and gopal you have assigned two another stories okay two another user stories then you will say that for this disparating i will work for suppose um, 10 hours and others hours are going to work for different features that's the reason what will do you will say that for completion of this task number 8 or task number 6 or task so task number 5 or task number 8 then i i need this this task and each and every task each and every task contain the hours so hours will be the estimated estimated hours and your actual hours Okay, that will explain. Okay, you have to estimate the hours. We will explain everything later. You have to set the hours for this task. Suppose you are displaying all the product. Suppose what will do? Then they will come. Okay, say I I to divide a div. Then I have to div, uh, decide one casual. Then display a frame and display the product. If a mouse over, I will link. A lot of things will be there. Okay. Then based on that, they will say okay. One is display the casual. Casual means the slider. Second one is display the product, display the image, link. A lot of things you have to do. Based on that, you have to add the task. But each and every task you have to set the hours. And don't think the hours should not be exceed for your capacity. Always your hour inside your capacity because based on the capacity they are going to plan the sprint. You have you have given the story point. Now based on the story point you have to set your task and the task contain the hours. that hours you want to going to work for the specific user stories after the work is hours hours set all the then we'll start the actually execution okay you going to work on the execution then this execution we are going to discuss in next class what is the use of execution in execution we're going to learn about the git the branching strategy what is github lot of thing going to discuss okay got it how you are explain let me let repeat it again planning stage in planning stage we start start point in planning we are going to get the requirements this is totally depend upon the business analyst and business user we have no link with them they are a different team maybe they are different person don't know for each and every team there is a execution okay the, uh, each and every team they, then we are going to set up a call to set up a plan then they have to divide the, the features into multiple parts that part we call as a user stories the user stories is going to assign to the developer or any person who is going to work for the project then each user story contain the points points means a difficulty level okay the the task level what is, user story means the task difficulty level Difficult level of a story. Then task management. Okay. In task management, we will after you get the story, then you what will do? You have to do the task. What are the task you want to perform for this story? 
then each and every story you have to assign the hours hours means what are the hours you're going to work then after you said all these things now you know i have to develop this i have to develop this i have to develop this then you have to start the execution execution we we'll learn about the next part is called git what is the use of git and uh, github and how to branching strategy how to do a lot of things we're going to discuss on this next class if you have any question please let me know okay thank you all thank you for your time and see you tomorrow the same time we'll continue the same